Good evening. For the first time in this trial, the jury heard Joseph Daniels confess to killing his son during a 2018 interview with the TBI. Daniels has since recanted that confession, so it will now be up to 12 men and women to see if it should be believed. News Channel 5's Chris Davis walks us through what they heard today. For two and a half hours, the jurors heard Joseph Daniels say a variety of things to interviewers or investigators in that interview. In the first part, he stuck to his original story, saying that he didn't know how Joe Clyde went missing. But as time ticked on and hard questions were asked, Joseph changed his story, culminating in this dramatic moment. Why did I kill my son? Why did I kill my son? I now, Daniels told the TBI he lost his temper when his son urinated in the floor, so he beat Joe Clyde repeatedly until the five-year-old lost consciousness. He then told uh, investigators that he placed the body in the trunk of his car. Daniels also shared where the body might be, but Joe Clyde has never been found. The defense is saying that this was all coerced by investigators and that Joseph was lying just to end the interview. The TBI agent who interviewed Daniels explained to the jury how he tried to build up a rapport with Joseph to convince him to tell the full story. That confidence in their lies starts to degrade and uh, that allows me an opportunity to continue building trust with that person so that uh, eventually uh, the, the, the goal is for them to let me in on that lie. So on one hand, you have a confession that was emotional and compelling. And on the other, there is no physical evidence to corroborate anything that Joseph Daniels told investigators. So the jury will have a lot to consider. Before we go, a quick housekeeping note. We are still in session here this afternoon. Usually we'd be done by now, but we actually had some unexpected procedural delays this morning. And the judge is trying to keep the pace up so the jury can eventually get home. And we are expecting court to resume tomorrow morning back again bright and early at 8 a.m. Live in Charlotte, Chris Davis, News Channel 5.